Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to speed up your computer for free. I'm going to take a look at how you can physically speed up your computer uh, by using RAM disk. Now, quite a few people ask about RAM disk. I thought I'd make a quick video showing you basically what RAM disk is and what you can use it for and how you can boost the speed of whatever it is you're trying to run inside RAM disk. So first off, you're going to need some software. It's called I'm disk. Uh, toolkit now there's quite a few different variations on the market so you can choose whichever one uh, suits you uh, so we're going to download this and get it installed on the system now what is ram disk well ram disk is a uh, volatile memory so anytime your computer loses power the contents inside that ram will be erased so it is volatile memory we're using here so i'm going to extract this uh, particular folder and put it into a folder on my desktop here and you can see there's two files uh, there is a files.cab and there is a install.bat i'll show you what's inside the install.bat and when you look inside here there's a bit of code and basically that's what this batch file is going to do so what i'm going to do here is click on this and it will install the files.cab onto the system here so let's go ahead and click on the install.bat and this will go ahead and open up a I'm disk setup box here. So now we need to install it into a location where we want to install the software. Now you can choose wherever you want to install yours. I'm going to install this onto a, another drive. So let me go ahead and browse that location. You can see the default is C colon backslash programs files backslash I'm disk. That's where it's going to defaultly uh, install that but i'm going to change this to another location here you can use the browse button so there we go so i've got that here you can leave the settings as default and literally click install and it's now done so now we're ready to go what we need to do is go to the location where we've installed it and this is the location you can see a bunch of files in here config.exe you can click on all of these files and they will open up certain types of setups that you can mess around with here but i'll show you basically what you need to do to get this running just go ahead and uh, close this out and we're going to come down to this area here where it says ram disk utility or ui and uh, click on this and you can see image disk here so first off i'm going to go gigabytes and i'm going to use the size of gigabytes just for this test we're going to use one gigabyte so let me go ahead and put one gigabyte and leave the drive letter to whatever you like here. So I'm going to use something like U or something like that, which is not being used. Leave the file system as NTFS, launch at startup, and we're going to create a temp folder as well. Now there is an area here that says allocate memory dynamically. Instead of allocating the whole size, memory is allocated only when it's actually used. This is slower but can save a lot of memory if you use this only on a small part of the RAM disk. So it's entirely up to you whether you want to allocate the memory uh, dynamically. If you leave it off, it will be faster. But if you want to allocate memory dynamically, it will basically be a little bit slower, but also saves a lot of memory. So I shall tick the allocate memory dynamically. And there's some advanced areas here as well. And you can enable NTFS compression and a bunch of other settings in here. That's out of the scope of this particular type of video. The drive letter is going to be called RAM disk. And you can see here RAM disk configuration tool. You can uh, navigate to that there if you wish. But I'm going to leave that as it is and click OK here. And uh, it's now saying a warning. The fast startup feature on Windows is enabled. This can lead to some issues. You may want to disable that. So I'll go ahead and quickly disable that. And then we'll continue. So let's continue and exit out. So now we've got our... RAM disk all set up here. Let me just close this off. We don't need this anymore. And let me just show you here the RAM disk is active and working on the system. As you can see, we've only got a one gigabyte size here. Now, inside here, this is going to be volatile memory. So if you're putting documents or anything like that, it's going to be deleted when you restart the computer. Let's go ahead and download a, a portable app, which is called Firefox portable edition this allows us to run a browser inside of this um, ram disk drive that we've just created here which should give us super fast browsing speeds as well 
and no data will be stored on there because it's stored in memory. So let me go ahead and install this. You can see it wants to install this on the U drive, which is my RAM disk drive. So let me go ahead and leave that as is and click on install here. This will install the browser and the container of all of the uh, files that are needed to run this browser inside of that um, RAM disk, which should make it super fast. So let me go ahead and click run now, and this will open up here. There we go. So we've got our browser opened up here. I just want to quickly show you inside uh, the drive here for the U drive. This is where we can expect to see our files. Let me just delete this now. We don't need this one. We do have a temp folder in there, which we can put stuff into if we wanted to. But you can see here, we have got all of the browser contained inside that folder. So if you want to do a search on the internet, you should uh, see pretty good speeds. Let me go ahead and put brightechcomputers.co.uk and away we go. And you can see it opens up very fast indeed. We just quickly close this stuff off here and click on one of these links and we should see the page open very quickly. It's very quick and snappy as you can see here. Very fast. So there you go. So that's how you can set up your browser. And of course, all that data will be erased when you restart your PC. You can install whatever you don't care to keep inside of that RAM disk. So let's go ahead and do some speed tests for this particular RAM disk against uh, an NVMe drive and also against a mechanical drive, which I have on this computer. So let me go ahead and install uh, the software here so we can do some testing. And if you haven't seen a crystal disk mark before, it's just a benchmarking tool which you can use to benchmark hard drives to see how fast the read and write speeds are for certain types of file types like 4K and other things like that. So this is a mechanical drive that I'm showing you here. And I'll run the test here and you'll see what the speeds are like. Now, a standard SSD will give you 500 reads and 500 writes. And you can see the mechanical drive was pretty slow there. It was slower than an SSD. Now, this is the speed of an NVMe Gen 3, which is a pretty fast drive. And you can see 2,657 reads and 2,441 writes. Let's go ahead and do the speed test of our RAM disk now, and we'll see how fast that is. And let me see. So we can see 5,488 Point thirty one reads and also you can see the writes will come up right now 4938.82 uh, writes and the 4k is pretty impressive as well now of course that's gen 4 territory speeds right there using just ram disk and it's free to download and install just remember that anything inside here is volatile which means it will not be stored on the computer now to uninstall the program you just unmount the drive like I'm showing you here, you don't want to keep any data. You want to remove it. And then all you need to do here is go to control panel and literally type in control panel here in the search box and open up your control panel and go to programs and features and uninstall the actual program from here. You should see it in the list here. Click on this and click uninstall and change. And this will open up a box where it says, do you want to uninstall it? Click uninstall and that will remove it from your computer. So that's basically how you can speed up your computer for free. Now you can physically see the speed differences when you load things into memory. Memory is still very, very fast. It's faster than SSD and it's also faster than a mechanical drive. And it's even faster than a Gen 3 uh, NVMe drive. So pretty impressive speeds there. Now these sort of speeds you can expect on your PC when you install it. Just remember the data is volatile and it's not going to be stored on there for long term. So just remember that and you should be fine. I suppose the real question is, is there really a need for RAM disk in 2020? And I suppose it depends on what you're trying to do with it. I don't personally use them anymore. I have no need for them but some people still want to uh, use them for browsing and you can do that the way I showed you and you can route all of your temporary files inside there which get erased every time you restart the computer. As for that, I don't see much more use for it really and it is volatile which means it's not stored. But with that said, I think that's going to be about it. You can make your own decisions what you want to use it for or if this interests you at all is entirely up to you. 
I just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.